So there's this one overriding problem that web users have suffered with for years, which is loss of connectivity. The best web app in the world will provide a terrible user experience if you can't download it. There have been various attempts to create technologies to solve this problem and some of the issues have been solved. But the overriding problem is that there wasn't a good overall control mechanism for asset caching and custom network events. This is when service workers come into picture. Now service workers are simple JavaScript files that act as a middle layer between the web application and the network. They run in the background separate from the web page and enable developers to intercept and handle network requests. This service worker is essentially a web worker. So if you watched the previous video, you'll find a lot of familiar elements in this video as well. So just like any other worker, the service worker is run in a worker context. So it will not have access to the DOM. This also means that it runs on a different thread to the main JavaScript thread that powers your application. So it will never block the main thread. I had covered this in the previous video with an example. So do check that out. Now this worker has a core set of features that make it so powerful and it's better if you look at it from that angle because only then would it make sense for you to actually use it in your application. So the first one is offline support. By caching essential assets such as the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript files and even in some cases the API responses, service workers allow users to access previously visited pages even when they are offline. This caching mechanism not only improves the user experience by reducing the reliance on network availability, but also enables faster loading times for any subsequent requests. These workers also provide the ability to perform tasks in the background, even when the web application is not actively running. This functionality enables features such as push notifications. Like for instance, you can schedule a service worker to periodically check for updates or notifications and display them to the user even if the web application is closed. These are very powerful features that can bring a web app experience even closer to a native app. So in the next video, we will take a look at how to set up a service worker in our application. I have kept this introduction brief because all I wanted to do here was to lay out the use cases and why someone should consider adding a service worker to their application. The setup is slightly complicated as well and I wanted to keep it separate. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.